In this video, we are going to continue with derivatives of exponential functions. You will find this on page 481 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c266. Let's look at another example. Differentiate with respect to x. Now this one is easy because it's just sum and difference. So I differentiate the first one, it's 5. I differentiate the second one, I multiply with the value in front of x, which is just negative 2. And I just rewrite e to the power of negative 2x. When I come to this one, number b, I say, oh, now I must remember the product rule. Can you still remember the product rule? I rewrite the first one. I differentiate the second one. So write it as 5x multiplied e minus 2x. Okay. And then plus, because it's product, and then I rewrite the second one and I differentiate the first one. And if I do this, I'm just going to write, there I differentiate, I rewrite, I differentiate, and then I just simplify. And I can take e to the power negative 2x as a common factor out. Okay. And then the next one, in this one, I'm going to do the quotient rule because it's division. So I rewrite the denominator. I differentiate the numerator. Subtract for the quotient rule. I rewrite the numerator. I differentiate the denominator. And then don't forget, I take the denominator and I square it. So if I do that, times 5, negative 5x, this is negative 2, and there is negative 4x. And then it will be 5e to the power negative 2. Negative, it's positive 10e negative 2. And then, basically, I'm just going to um, take out a um, common factor to see if something can cancel out. So it's 5e to the power negative 2. And if I do that, it's 1 plus 2x. And what can I cancel out here? Let's see. This is e, so keep the e. So it's going to be negative 2x minus negative 4x. So it's negative 2x plus 4x, which give me that 2x. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number 1a and 1b. 2b and then also the application number 3. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's start. Number 1a. y is equal to, this is an easy one, it's just sum. So I'm just going to differentiate the first term, which will just be 2x, and I'm just going to, what's the value in front of, differentiate the second term. And that will be my final answer. If I'm going to look at number b, so y is equal to x squared e, and it's to the power of 3x. Now again, I'm going to use the product rule. So I'm going to rewrite the first one. Differentiate, I'm just writing it for this first time. This one. Then I'm going to plus, I rewrite the second one, and I differentiate the first one. And if I do that, I'm going to get x squared, and if I differentiate this, it's multiply 3e, e, 3x, plus e, 3x, multiply 2x. And that is going to give you... 3, okay, I think I'm going to write first the x squared, uh, doesn't matter, x squared e, oh, let's just get the pen book ready, uh, let's just get it correct, e, 3x, plus I'm just going to get my order the same here, there was a x, and then it's e, 3x. 
okay, let's just move this. And then I'm just going to say, okay, what can I take out? I can take out e to the power of 3x. I think I can actually take out x because there's an x. And I can take out e to the power of 3x. And that's going to give me 3x plus 2. But if you see that only say it's, it's in division and only e, then you just take it out. So usually we are doing this step to see if we can cancel out if we have a fraction. But for now, this can be taken as correct. Okay, let's do the next one. Number 2b. Number 2b is going to be like this. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to say d over dx. Of course, there's not a y, so I prefer to write it like this. e to the power of x minus 2 over e to the power x minus 1. Okay, and if I do this, I rewrite the denominator. I differentiate, and I, th I think for now I'm just going to first write it like this, the numerator. Don't forget, it's subtraction. I rewrite the numerator. I differentiate the denominator. And then I'm square. And that is going to give me e to the power of x minus 1. And if I differentiate this one, it's just going to, that is a, become 0, so it's just e to the power of x. This one is e to the power of x minus 2. And if I differentiate this one, it's also just e to the power of x. And if I square this one, I think I can actually leave it first like this, because it's not necessary. So it's e to the power of x minus 1 squared. Now, don't forget, let's just see what we have here. Um, I just want to see what cancel out and not. So if I'm simplifying this, if I multiply, I get e at, so it's 2x minus e to the power of x. I'm just multiplying it in. Minus e to the power of 2x uh, plus 2 e to the power of x, and it's over e to the power of x minus 1 squared. And if I see, then, then I will see that this one, this one will cancel with this one. Um, let's just see, and this is 2 minus 1, let's just move it up. So this is like like terms. So 2 minus 1 is just going to be 1, e to the power of x over, and you don't have to multiply this out. Uh, this is my pin. And that will be my final answer. Okay, let's look at number 3. Find the gradient of the curve at the point where x is 0. Now, if gradient, it means differentiate. So it's actually saying, take this and first differentiate, and then substitute in the place of x, 0. So, if I, this is again the quotient rule. So if I differentiate, and now I'm just going to do it, I rewrite the denominator. I differentiate. Now, if I differentiate this one, this will just become a zero. Subtract. I rewrite the numerator. 
and I differentiate the D. This is a zero, and this is bring that um, two value in front of x to e to the power of 2x. And this is over 5 minus e to the power of 2x. And what must I do with it? I must square it. Okay, if I simplify, this is becoming 0. So this is just becoming 16 e to the power of 2x. And just leave it like this with the square. Don't multiply it out. Okay, now when, and I always like to write it in yellow. So when x is 0. Then dy by dx will be 16 e to 0 over 5 minus e to 0. And that will give me 16 e to the power of 0 over... Okay, now be, be careful here. So it's going to be 5 minus, uh, anything to the power of 0 is 1. Don't forget that. And if I move it now up, so this is going to become 16 times 1, so it's just 16. This is 5 minus 1, which is 4, and 4 times 4, which is 16. And then what will be the gradient? So find the gradient. So therefore, the gradient at x equals 0 will be 1. And that's your final answer.